I, hey, I'm Samo. I recently heard of another application on the Android that can make smooth animation. And I was curious to check it out if it is true or not. I heard it was current I heard it was recently introduced onto the Android platform. It's um it has been existing on the on other platforms but it was just introduced into the Android ecosystem and I was very eager to check it out. So follow me and let's know if this app can really make good animation or not on the Android smartphones. So I downloaded this app on the Play Store. It is free to get. I launched it and these are the things I noticed with the app. The first thing I noticed is that you have to get a license to use it. But they also gave the opportunity to use it one hour every day. Just one hour every day sincerely. So you can pay for either the Pro version or for the EX version. The other thing I noticed is that this app is specific, specifically made for Android smartphones. So the, your workspace, your drawing space is highly maximized. No tool is actually is actually moving out of its of its boundary. No tool is actually taking much of its space. Those apps, these tools, this app is 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 easily designed for the smartphone so that it can maximize your workspace. The other thing I noticed with the brushes is that the brushes are well textured. The paper too, I think they have their own texture. I don't know, but when I was drawing, I was feeling like I was drawing on the paper, and the the the, the, the brushes are are are, are really uh are, are really cool. And so. This app is easily customizable. You can customize everything in the app, like where your shortcuts to be. There are side function keys. I'll call them side function keys. There are odd space, all those things want it to. You can even press control plus two one. I think that this app, this app is very easy to customize and it makes your work faster. So we have the quick access. You can customize just all those bars, everything you can customize everything. So this app is very great. So when I went to the animating section, the animation section, what I noticed was that your timeline it doesn't display your timeline. So I don't know where your timeline is. It is hidden, I don't know. <laughs> but it doesn't display your timeline really. So if you want to see your frames, you just have to click on the layer and the layer menu and you see all those layers. So they are your frames, yes. And the other thing is that the the version I downloaded, which was the one I got from Play Store, it doesn't exceed more than twenty four frames. I don't know why. Maybe because it's a smaller version, but I don't know. But it doesn't exceed more than twenty four frames. So, what is my conclusion about this app? Um, one. If you are someone who is desperate to upgrade to a professional app on the smartphone and you have the and you have other tools that you want to use with it, number two is that number two is that if you like to animate on the go, like you're animating on your on your desktop at home, then you have an appointment, you send it to the Clip Studio Cloud and then you and then uh, on the go you continue with your smartphone. With your Samsung phone, maybe, or and also if you have money to pay for this app, I think this app is best for you. Um, if you are still in beginner and you don't want to spend more on apps, please, I don't think it's time to get these apps. You know, because actually, it's actually, it's actually, it, you can actually use this app for one hour every day. But what is the point of using this app for one hour every day? You won't even finish one piece. So I don't think that's the best way of practicing. If you want to draw, just go for if, just go for IB Paint, Medibank, um, or your sketch, um auto auto desk sketchbook and other free apps like that that you can use on the Android. There are, there are, there are many of them. And if you want to animate to if you want to upgrade to the pro version if you want to upgrade to the EX version, sorry, you can you can do. It allows you to use more frames than 24. Then this one is actually your frame. So thank you for listening for watching this video. I hope you subscribe and like my video. Thank you.